so welcome or welcome back to my channel to anyone who is new here hey i'm yasmin today's video i'm gonna show you how i do this makeup look it's one of my favorite makeup looks that i've done it would usually take me around 15 minutes to do this look and if you want to know what i did to get this look keep on watching future me interjecting my voice sounds kind of sick it's because when i film it it was almost midnight so i was really tired so yeah so this is my face without any makeup so my first step would be by putting on my contacts since in malaysia it's still compulsory for us to wear masks all the time if i wore my glasses it would just fog up and it would be a mess basically so yeah and this is how i look with my contacts in it's one of my favorite color contacts it looks very natural in my opinion and i will link it below in the description if anyone wants to see for the second step i will put on my moisturizer which is from neutrogena neutrogena please sponsor me <laughs> i've been using this since i was 11 so please sponsor me my moisturizer which is the just the normal spf 15 moisturizer and my tried and true favorite sunscreen ever and it's drugstore it's from biore i don't want to butcher it it's from this brand it's my favorite it's silky smooth when i put it on and i'll put this i'll put it like two pumps and i'm lazy so i will just add it up and just put it and usually i'll just drag it across the face and down to the neck now my face is all moisturized for my third step i would start put on my makeup my mirror is there so if i'm looking over here it's because i'm looking at the mirror first i would put on my lip balm this is one of my favorite lip balms i used to hate lip balms because how they feel on the lips but this one from the Birds and Bees Beeswax Lip Balm, I really love it. Gives a minty feel to the lips, so I really like that. So usually, I would put on my primer. It depends on the day. If I'm too lazy, then I would just go and start with my brows. If I have a bit more time to put on some makeup, I would use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This one, I really love because it's really moisturizing. So I would just take around two pumps. Just smear it across the face for my brows so usually i'll use the name is already smudged off i'll just put it on the screen i would use the brow me up by nina i've had this for a long time maybe i need to buy a new one so usually i will take just a random spoolie and i'll just wet it and um i'll just do it like that Usually, I would use this first and then I would use my eyebrow pencil because it's easier for me to make it as a guide as to where my eyebrows should look like. And I would just put it on here like so before I could care less to fill in my eyebrows but now it's one of my essentials because year girl don't really have eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, I do, but it's barely there. I would fill in the sparse areas, brush them through, like so. I would just draw a line, sort of, elongate the tail of my eyebrow, putting in some arch, and it would look like so. Just fill in any sparse areas that I have, which I have a lot, and I would go to the second eyebrow and just try to match it sometimes they don't match and it's fine too what's the saying um okay i can't remember the saying but whatever and that's pretty much my eyebrows so after my brows are done i will usually just go in with my concealer it's the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 25 and 20 so 25 is usually what i use for my blemishes because it's the darker one so i would just put it under my eyes just a bit on my blemishes i don't normally go with foundation because on me it looks kind of cakey and 
I usually just wear it when I have to, like weddings and stuff. So usually I would take my dry beauty blender and just blend it all up. So I would usually just drag it across my eye. Basically, it doesn't cover much, but I kind of like it. And I would take my Free No Sebum Mineral Powder, put it on here on the cap, just a bit, and take my it's this brush from Eco Tools, I think, and just put it on the places where I've put my concealer so it doesn't crease. I used to think that I have oily skin but I feel like now it's pretty normal and max is blush so I would take my sleek brush it has three of these colors so it's the blush by three palette the lace 367 basically I would usually just mix all three and just apply it on the apples on my cheeks I feel like it's not that pigmented so you can build it to your liking my cheeks a bit on my nose to look like sunburn I think and I'm using this Real Techniques blush brush and usually I would take just a little bit more press it and put it across my eye just to add some color basically just put it everywhere my palette is so busted. It's the Cute AF palette by Colourpop. I'm not going to show to people. I'm just it's this one because it's so busted. I would take the shade Mischief. How do I show this? I'll just put it on the screen. Yeah. So I would take Mischief. Take this random angled brush. It's like it's this. I would take, tap it and just make it to be, just flick it. So it looks like I have a liner going on, just a little bit. I just clean it up with my finger, drag it a little bit. I'm going to take it a little bit more and just put it down and just connect the two. And that's one done. So to the next one is the challenge. it from my eyes if you can see so it looks like my eyes are elongate I think that's the word and next my lips so I would just clean my lips from any concealer or powder that got to my lips so for lips I would use the Sunny's face lipstick in this shade casual it's this color usually I would just it on top and then I would take the side they were matte lip lacquer in San Marino and just put it in the middle of my lips and I would just blend it in so it, it would look not that pigmented mascara so I would take this Shu Yumura eyelash curler because I have such straight lashes that would just go down even when i wear the most waterproof mascara it would literally go down and the only thing that works for my lashes is the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise and that's the only thing that would hold my lashes i would just look down and just curl it like so and usually i would take one eye and then the other so i curl it i put on mascara This is what I look like with mascara on and this is the finished look. I really like it. It saves me so much time. I mean to get all of this done in just under 15 minutes. I think it's ideal enough for me since I'm always in a rush. For all the things that I've mentioned in this video, I will link it down below. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!